Yeah. So it's 2022, and I know a lot of people have been getting into the content creation uh, aspect of you know YouTube, and maybe they're doing tech reviews, maybe they're playing video games, stuff like that. You're gonna have some kind of uh, space that you're in that might need some lighting and everything, but you don't wanna go out and maybe buy nano leaves or you're looking for some alternatives or whatever that might be a little bit cheaper and be in within a reasonable budget and still function. So with that being said, Walmart has some nice stuff. <laughs> Are you serious? Now these products that I'm gonna go over today None was sent out to me. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I've paid it all with my own money. Um, and again, I'm on a budget. So with that being said, let's take a look at some things that you might want to pick up from Walmart and some things you definitely want to stay away from. Hey, welcome back to the Fish Tank, everybody. My name is Squidhead Joe. Hope you guys are having a squid-tastic day. So first off, what I'm using to record right now is my Samsung Galaxy A51. It's not the best camera. It's not like a digital DSLR camera or anything like that. It's just you no know, cell phone that I got at the beginning of uh, 2021 and um, it has a decent, I guess, camera and can pick up stuff or wherever. The ring light that I'm using around it to, to capture light directly on me is by uh, Bower Bauer. Um, it's one of the ring light set thing that you can get I believe from um, from them at Walmart I forget the price of it or wherever if I could find it I'll try to put it up on screen um, it's decent uh, gets the job done so it's, it's a ring light you know there's no uh, RGB with it as well to capture the audio though I am using their shotgun mat, uh, mic that can be used on a camera and a cell phone so this is how the audio sounds um, with this mic I'll show it in a little bit make sure if you have a uh, cell phone and you're going to use it to capture your audio make sure that while you're in walmart you already get go ahead and get a usb-c to 3.5 millimeter audio jack make sure make sure make sure you get that because with my phone in particular it has a 2.5 millimeter jack and if you go ahead and you use this, you're going to be hearing a popping or a crackling sound and stuff while you're recording your audio. Even comment sections on reviews or product reviews all over on YouTube. A lot of people are complaining about this stuff. There is a thing, a stipulation in the actual uh, manual that says, hey, you, some phones might not work if you don't have the you know the right audio jack make sure you get a converter again it can be used on cameras it does come with a battery um it's a very specific battery so you probably have to um you know end up buying spares or wherever somehow or maybe on the website i don't know but the battery is listed in there what type of battery it takes and everything um so you should be able to find that i imagine fairly cheap or something like that but it is a specialized battery if you're wondering about this light right here too uh, as, a, as a hair light, even though I'm not showing my hair, um, it's a uh, 50 LED video light by Bauer again, or Bower, however you're supposed to say it. it. This is on its brightest setting, as you can see right there. The stipulation about this light, though, you can get this this kit, a kit or whatever, that's like 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks, um, that comes with a, uh, I think it comes it comes with this light down that back here it comes with the shotgun thing or whatever and it comes with this weird it looks cheap though so i don't know if it's really worth getting like if you already have like a tripod or and stuff like that and you have some ways to attach it all to your phone already or look for a more sturdier thing because the picture on the box looks just kind of cheap or cheaply made at least um the thing about this light though, it comes with a USB uh, cable. Um, it's a micro USB. If you're wondering why I squinted throughout the video, it's because the ring light does not look good with glasses and I wear glasses. But it's really short, like like really, really short. I can't, I can't tell you. So how I got it hooked up is I had a spare USB cable, um, my micro USB cable that uh, was long and then I got uh, a spare um, USB um, extension 
cable or whatever, and I just plug it into a, a USB uh, a power bank that I had. This one it has three brightness levels, and this is again this is on the on the highest one. It may not look really good on this video. I'm gonna test it and see. I still got the receipt and stuff. I'm gonna test it and see how it looks on live stream, like through OBS and everything, to make sure it's actually like worth getting. I don't know if you should if you could get two of these or something like that but i thought it was pretty cool to have like as a hair light and talk about today that's the only downside that i don't really like about this is that this it's rechargeable though you don't have to have it plugged in um but it's rechargeable but if i'm going to use it for a live stream i don't want it to randomly die on me or something like that so i wanted to keep it charged it's currently plugged in and it's actually charging and it's actually on. I don't know if it's actually charging, but I'm able to have it plugged in and turned on while the cable's in. So I don't know if it's like a live pass through or it's charging while it's plugged in while it's on, but I'm glad that could be done at least. Um, with that being said, it does come in the box. It does come with um, some diffusers. There, there's a white one, a red one, and a, a light blue, bluish one. Um, the bluish one, in my opinion, doesn't really like you can't even tell on camera that's blue. Like, I, I don't know, may maybe it's supposed to be like that cool white. Um, the red, maybe. I, I don't know if that's because I have other, you know, too many other lights on or wherever, but it's it. I mean, it's cheap. Um, I would just use it in this form. Maybe you can work out using these, but in my opinion, that's the kind of the other letdown, but mostly these are a letdown. But me personally, I probably wouldn't use those. Um, maybe if I was had a better camera and I was using those as like a, as a, uh, like an accent behind a product or something like that, maybe. But um, in this use case scenario, I, I wouldn't even worry about using those. Um, I know most people are probably looking at this light back here and and like, hey, get to that. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the product that everybody probably clicked on this video for. I'm gonna probably put it in the title too. So this is the Vivitar uh, Creator Series uh, Studio Light, uh, I guess you could say. Um, I have actually uh, three of them. I have where you can see this little purple hue on the corner of the video. It's, it's going into that wall, wherever. That's usually for my live stream setup. Um, I have two right here. They're like 35 bucks or something like that in Walmart. When you shine them on a wall and you do a shot like this, they're good. Again, I'm not perfect with all this stuff or wherever, but you could find something like a use case scenario like this. Now, if I was to have the camera facing the other way and I had those facing out to that, to that wall, the amount of uh, pour over, I guess you could say the room or wherever, um, if you had one of these, it wouldn't be strong enough. Um, my brother sent me a one, um, I forget what it's called, the actual uh, floodlight or wherever. Um, I'll probably put it on screen. It is a 60 watt. I believe these are 60 watt too, if I remember correctly. Those get hot to the touch, the ones that my brother sent me. Um, these don't really get that hot. They get a little warm, but they don't get that hot. With this, let me get into the meat and potatoes where a lot of people are probably wondering how to use this thing. Cause if you picked it up, you know what I'm talking about. This doesn't come with a remote. I don't know why they don't come with a, with a remote. If it's, in my opinion, it's more on the expensive side. Because again, on Amazon or any other website, you can get a pack of like four floodlights for the same price. This thing, the app, that you download or whatever from the QR code on the back does not work for every single cell phone out there. I repeat, it does not work. I'm not sure about tablets, but I know for a fact from me purchasing them and from what I've seen from comment sections, reviews and stuff like that of on YouTube and on the internet period, uh, written and video wise, um, they don't work on every cell phone. Again, mine is a Galaxy uh, A51, it does not work. Um, the person that I found the hack from or wherever had a Galaxy as well and didn't work. He said, if you have another phone and you try to download the app, it will work. Um, and his video though, that the guy did, he did not explain that if you uh, download the, the QR code one in the, on the back of the box, you will only be able to use those lights as a white light. 
um, meaning daylight, cool, uh, white, you know, all the, the, the different spectrums of white, but you won't be able to access the RGB. For whatever reason, the RGB is actually on another app. The only reason why I know that the RGB is on another app is because when I downloaded the app, I looked for the RGB and it wasn't there, like at all, no control over the RGB at all. So when I went to the, the comment section of the app to see maybe I was missing something or I needed to update app, some, I, I don't know, something. Um, a reviewer or, or a person actually put in the comments somewhere after scrolling forever, um, that there is another app to, that you actually have to download to control the RGB. If you download that app to control the RGB, it actually controls everything on the all functions on the light. So there's no reason to actually have the the, the thing that, you know, to use on, on the QR code on the back. There's no reason for this this app or this version of the app because you can't you can't access the colors on that other other app if you actually get it to work on your phone. Now, unfortunately that other app you can it's the same problem as the one with this one it only works on certain phones so the app to control all the rgb because nobody cares about the app on the back of the box the app to control all the other rgb is called shine light it looks like this it's the rgb one right there it's called shine light that's the way it looks that's the logo of it the uh, one that they tell you to download is this one called a uh, light deck and it has the Vivitar, you know, thing or whatever on it. So you would think it's like official and everything. Thing about this company, though, if you look at their YouTube, the, there's nothing. There's no mention about the creator series of product lineups. If you look at the website, there's nothing there other than some old cameras that only do 720p video, like GoPro knockoffs, uh, everything like that. If you look at the YouTube channel, all the comments uh, for all videos are turned off. And um, obviously you can't see the like to dislike ratio. And then on top of that, all they put out is like drone footage. And there was like three year gap between videos or something. I, I, I don't know. Um, but it's just very questionable. I don't know why it's set up that way. I don't, I, I don't know. This is meh. I would highly, highly recommend just using them as, uh, as color lights. But again, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this one because you can find floodlights that are probably cooler as far as like temperature, the touch and stuff, and won't heat up your office and everything. The, again, these don't really, but there's some other ones. And I think the um the one that i got only has a remote it doesn't have um my, the one that my brother sent me it has a remote but it doesn't have an app um on their website they've actually updated and you can have an app and and a remote and you can get different packs of them wherever like a two pack four pack and it's again you can get it for like 40 50 or wherever you get a four pack you know what i'm saying on amazon or something like that so just keep that in mind if you don't really necessarily have to get this and all the struggle and the hassle just to get it to work well the one, one thing i like about these if you can get the app to work is that you can have them cycle through colors um with these you can pick and choose so if i wanted these flights to turn from purple to blue to purple to blue and just keep going or purple to red to blue to yellow and just keep going they can do that throughout through the shine app um I, that's one thing i do like but again you might be able to find you know a pack of four that can have that capability i would just uh, imagine just to look up a review for it and see if it's capable of doing something like that i know this was kind of a long uh, section but i really wanted to cover this if i had to give this uh, a rating uh out of, out of five i would give it probably like a 2.5 to three all right so this video is already getting long enough but moving on to the next product is again another product by vivitar called uh the vivitar creator series uh hdmi to uh usb video capture card everybody's been trying to get into capture cards you know probably about cam link uh you probably um heard about these ones or wherever um you know epos box put out a video about it i'll probably put a link in the description um these are really really um good and cheap i think you can get it like ten dollars or lower maybe up to fifteen dollars or something like that the ones that i'm gonna i'm gonna link you to link y'all to the epos box video the ones in those 
he can guarantee that they're gonna put out a 1080p signal. They're not always gonna be 1080p. They might say the 1080p, they might fill up the screen like it's 1080p, but the actual image slash video quality is actually lower than 1080p, if that makes sense. You get a lot of artifacting, you get a lot of fuzziness or whatever in your videos and stuff like that. I think that might be the one I have. I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of hard for me to understand. I'm not like a video expert or whatever. I'm more of a software guy. Um, that but this uh one that i use is 20 bucks you get it from walmart you can walk in grab it you know hook up a gopro which i do use on stream to capture the whole room so if i wanted to dance on stream or just get a wide angle view i do that i also have a elgato face cam as i mentioned earlier um and that one is just for like gaming and, and everything and just a cropped in thing and sometimes a video talking head it comes with a uh, hdmi to USB-C cable uh, adapter, so you can plug it straight into your motherboard via the motherboard's USB-C port, um, and it works. You know, uh, sometimes uh, you gotta be careful. Sometimes you do get uh, screen tearing and stuff like that. I'm not sure entirely why. Sometimes you can you can get that with this. Um, most of the time you might have to plug it in, plug it back out or wherever, make sure you're using the right USB port, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks. It's a USB HDMI capture card, works for at least GoPros. I imagine it says that you can use it for a DSLR camera. So if you don't, for whatever reason, want to get a cam link, because they're like 150 bucks to 200 bucks, depending on the market. All right, so next product here is one of the disappointing products. Um, this is, is super expensive, if I remember correctly, as far as like lighting goes, as, as far as the quality versus what you actually get. Um, for one, if you're getting a lot of these lights, you're going to end up with a lot of RGB remotes, unfortunately. Um, this one comes with a remote, but doesn't come to access to the, to, the, to the app. This company has an app that you can use, the Monster or whatever. Um, there's Essence and then Luminescence. I, I, I don't know or essentials and then lumin luminescence. I, I don't know, it's two different product lines. One product line actually uses an app on your phone, which eliminates the need for having a whole bunch of RGB remotes, and one doesn't. These advertise that this pointed at the wall will make this whole wall this color. It will not, it will not. I, I would have these in hand but they're actually behind my my main monitor um for right now anyways until i get some uh actual product or whatever that um, i'm going to talk about later on in the video to actually go back there uh but it's govi govi uh flow light bars i'm gonna put back there because they're actually bright and they do different designs what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn off these two top lights um this blue light that you see below me or wherever that's a led strip from another company so what you're going to end up seeing is the actual, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they're on max brightness. They're set to blue. So not the blue that's down here around the table, but that blue that you can barely see. That's how bright they are. It's bad. For, for this price, like this, and, and to me, this is false, false advertising. This is extreme false advertising because one bar does not does not make it at all. And this desk is, is pretty much flush with the wall. Other than like the mount arm or whatever, it's flush to the wall. So you can't tell me to get closer to the wall. And it ain't because I got these these two lights on or wherever. They're, they're crap. They're, there's no way. I, if I want to remember for a second, I was looking up, uh, looking at reviews uh, about some Walmart stuff. And I think somebody was talking about this one. And I think if I remember correctly, because I bought these uh, like early 2021. Yeah, I just never returned them and I lost the receipt. So I still have them. Um, and then this is supposed to be like a starter kit to start using their LED strips and their, you know, their bulbs and you can control up to 30. Um, and everything but when you only have a remote and like you you, you can sync up the stuff because it gives you a tutorial how to and a booklet how to sync up all of them wherever to one remote so it's still annoying when you have to sit there and control 
remotes and then like let's say i wanted these to be this blue and then i wanted the led strip to be a different blue or, or purple or something like that you would have to desync the light with the remote get one of the other remotes and sync it up to that led strip and it's just it's so much man it's, it's too much it's too much as you can see like on here or wherever they look diffused you know what i'm saying it's, it's diffused it's because how much the actual panel here or whatever you want to call it diffuser i know a lot of people say diffusing is good you don't want the little you know led dots or wherever that you get on on cameras on screen or wherever it's not flattering you know that's not the way you want to show them wherever but this is too diffused but look how much splash i'm getting versus the two bars and they're close together somewhat because this is a small mount monitor and again close to the wall it, it, dang near touching the wall and that's how much you get i'm telling you do not buy these these are garbage uh let's talk about something that's not garbage that's a lot cheaper this is ten dollars buy these <laughs> buy these i love these i love these i love this company dude i wish i could get sponsored with them or something like that like i i love this i gosh i love these i have four of these already and that's 40 bucks for four 40 bucks it's 10 10 dollars a pop for one you know what i'm saying so it's not bad um these are multicolor rgb light bars um i have their led strips I, again that's what the blue is is the led strip i have two on the bookcases wherever I, if i remember to put footage behind this i have uh, over this i have two on a bookcase i have two of these on my um fiance's uh setup and then i have the two of these uh, pointing uh, at my G Fuel setup or wherever in one of my bookcases, even though it just gives a little bit of accent lighting, but now the bookcases are further away. The only thing I would say about these is that um, the app, I wish they could do like how the Vivitar floodlights can do as far as cycle through different colors. The app is super easy um, to sync them all up. It's just the regular um, app or wherever. It's nothing, I guess, crazy or mind blowing. But they all have this, the regular static colors or wherever, as you can see, they all pulse. Um, they, you can have them breathe in and out or static color, one color. Um, you can have them jump through all the colors or you know, fading out all the colors. The only thing that I really wish, like I said, is that you can make them switch. Like if I wanted them to switch from from uh, blue to purple and then back to purple and blue like just you know cycle out like two colors or something like that you don't have that customization and that's that's literally the, the, the minute like problem or wherever but most of the time um you're probably just going to have it on a single color again they're bright as you can see even um when i put the footage uh, over wherever you'll see how bright they are um even in the background from a from a bookshelf that's further away the like the led strips and this is super bright um the only thing i would say about them is uh make sure you get the one that says bluetooth and has a remote and an app picture on the actual box when you get them from walmart the sad thing about it though with this company i have two of these um one that again if you've been to my live streams or my videos and stuff like that you've seen in the back it just says vk squid because i'm part of valkyrie ray and it says welcome to the fish tank um this thing is a marquee box or wherever it's pretty cool i've told some people about it and they're like oh you can get that from walmart and i was like yeah it's, it's like it's between like 13 and 15 bucks obviously it has like over 144 pieces um it's fairly it's, it's roughly about this size of the box, I guess you could say, or if not, just kind of take it in a little bit. Um, the problem with these is that they show up on camera very well on like the Elgato face cam and they show up well on my GoPro and everything. Um, but in person, they're actually kind of dull as far as like, it's not as bad as the diffuse it mint on the, the monster light bars or wherever that I was talking about. But these are, it's like the way they're angled inside. I'm not entirely sure where the placement is on the LED or for the, for the RGB lights or wherever. They're obviously not close to the actual where the text is or wherever. As you can see on here, they do kind of look faded. But when you, when you look at something like this, the picture on the back or wherever, it looks full color, full frame. I, I don't know. 
And I've plugged in both of these or wherever. I just put this one all back in the box, but I, I, I opened up both of them. So unless I got two bad batches, which I, I seriously doubt it. Um, again, they look good on camera, but in, in person or wherever, if that's something that you, you're interested in or something like that, I've seen some peoples who have them on or wherever in the background of videos or on live streams and stuff like that. Theirs look really, really dull and stuff like that. For some reason, I don't know why, but again, this company is there. They show up bright, just like the LED strips, like you're seeing right here in this video, they show up bright on camera. I, again, I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. Um, these take uh, six uh, AA batteries. Um, they're actually, they don't get as bright as if you use the power cord that's uh, available. For whatever reason, it gets even darker. Um, and it chews through battery, man. It chews through batteries like crazy. Eh, you can hang it up to a wall. It does have like a little notch in the back to where you can hang it up on the wall, like you see here. But I suggest just trying to hide the cable or something and just have them, just have it hooked up to the wall. Um, it does come with a remote. Sadly, it does not connect to the app. That's the only problem that I have with this. You can't sync them to the app. So every time you turn it on, it does like, like I said, the Vivitar lights where it just cycles through, um, just cuts through all the colors and stuff like that. I suggest um, just having a remote on top or nearby it. And every time you turn on the lights, just click whatever color you want or have it cycle through, you know, multiple colors, whatever. You know, like I said, around 14 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that, 13 bucks, whatever. It's actually, it's nice. And again, 144 pieces. You can get two of these, have it across a bookshelf, like I like I have or wherever, and just spell out a message or something, and hang up on the wall, hide the cable or something like that, have it light up with some craft stuff around, around it or wherever. It's very, very cool and it's very, very cheap. And again, I like that company. They do some really good stuff over there. Um, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of video. I know it's kind of long. I'm gonna have to edit it down, but there's a lot of stuff that I didn't really get into uh, talk about wherever because either I don't own the product or or anything like that um, this video wasn't sponsored or anything um, nobody's again nobody sent out anything to me I bought it all with my own money I mentioned earlier that I was thinking about going with Govi for the light bars behind the TV because obviously you know they're brighter um, the one the light bars uh, from these guys uh, they can be laid this way or this way um, but the actual cable for the light comes out the back, like the middle back. So trying to put these against your monitor or something like that, probably should have put said that earlier. Um, it, it will be hard to, it will be hard to do. And you might bend the wire. And if you bend wires, you have to worry about breaking circuits uh, or connection or wherever. So I just keep that in mind as the, the ones with the monster or wherever, their they, cables actually come out the bottom of the bars. And so that's why I put them on the back of the monitor, but you know, they're just there to be there pretty much. Um, but I wanted to talk about Govi real quick. This is a Govi floor lamp. Um, this is actually the light that I have here. If you can see the reflection on my hand um, to give me some, you know, lighting on the side. But if you've seen in my streams, that's the lights that do the designs and stuff uh, on the back walls. Um, the problem with this is that um, it's hard to get replacement parts. And what I mean by that is the first one that I ordered, one of the, I guess it was the connection or wherever, um, one of the, I don't, I don't know, one of the wires went bad or something like that. So what it would cause is like when I was doing design or have it on a color mode, um, which I think it's like the blue color uh, hue or wherever in it, um, it would start to flicker and flash. Um, the problem is, is that I have a, a viewer of mine who, you know, flashing lights cause them to have seizures and stuff. So I contacted Govi. I, I had it for, it, it was for months. I, I want to say it was like four or five months or something like that. I'm not sure, I, you know, products go bad. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not, I want to say it's Govi's fault or my fault or I messed something up because I, I put it in a spot and never touched it, right? So I just, it part went bad, part went bad. So I reached out to him like, hey, I don't see where I can get like this silicone thing that goes in the front that causes the light or wherever, because it's, you know, so I was like, is there a way that I can, I can get a replacement for it or wherever? And they're like, oh, what's wrong? You know, try resetting the, the device, do all the stuff or wherever. And I had already done some of the stuff. So I went ahead and did everything and I was still showing them, you know, updated videos 
I was like, yeah, resetting it, doing this stuff or whatever caused it to happen less, but it still happens. And I was like, I'm a content creator. I don't want, you know, my viewer to, you know, have a problem or issue because I just have the moving cycle light where it goes up and down, up and down, but because it has a blue hue to it or a purplish hue to it or whatever, it causes the light to flicker. Um, and I just told them that and they were like, okay, what's your order and number where I gave it to them. And they're like, what's your address? I gave it to them. And they sent me out one for free and was like, Hey, just know when you uh, get it. Just let us know when you get it. That is a really good company. And they even in the email, the person uh, told me that, you know, go be uh, is striving to, you know, be cutting edge technology, all that stuff, wherever you probably have heard about them multiple times and the competitive nature against like nano leaf and all that stuff. But I highly recommend this one. This one is $130. Now that's kind of out of budget, but the amount of customization, I'll put a channel link in the description to a person that goes in depth with this light in particular, but a lot of Gobi products. And I'm telling you, one of the, the best companies, it, it works with Alexa, it works with Google. Um, you can change the lights and stuff of it. Um, you can plug it up to a smart plug and change the lights that way. And then the app, like the amount of customization in the app, it, you get a very premium product. Like it, it would be too long of a video to, to tell you everything that you can get with this. So if you have a little bit more money over a hundred dollars and you're looking to just add a floor lamp or even like I said, a LED strips, they just released, I think their hex panels or wherever that's cheaper than the nano leaf. Like go be overall company. I wish I was sponsored by them. Let's just put it that way. Um, with that being said, uh, Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. I know this video is kind of long. I know the audio probably sucked throughout the whole thing. Again, I'm just testing this out. And uh, yeah, look forward to more content in the future. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces.